So what you're looking at right here is PowerSchool Learning on the left side uh, in the browser window, and on the right side is Google Chrome uh, with the Google main page. We're going to show you this morning how to move the content from your PowerSchool Learning site into a new Google site page. It's just a matter of essentially copying and pasting into Google Sites. So the first thing we're going to do is show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to open up Sites. I clicked on the 9x9 nine nine grid. I'm going to navigate to one that I've already started to create. And you'll see here that um, the content on the left is now also in the Google Site on the right. So PowerSchool Learning um, content is added through content blocks and also on uh, Google Sites content is added using uh, content blocks also. You can see that the information on the left is now on the Google Site on the right. So how did I do this? First thing we're going to need to do is create a new Google Site. So I'm in Google Sites. And the way I got there was I clicked on the 9 by 9 grid and selected the Sites application. And then I clicked the plus sign down below in the bottom right corner, and I created a new Google Site. It's just a generic template that we've got right now, and we can change that template. You'll notice on the right hand side are all the different blocks that you can add to your Google Site. Uh, you can add additional pages, and then you have some starting themes. All of these themes can be customized to some degree by font and color, and I'll show that to you here once we've selected a particular theme. So once I've selected a theme, I'm going to select the color, and I'll stick with the blue since that's the same theme we have in the PowerSchool Learning page. I'm going to go ahead and change uh, the uh, image here. I'm going to select one of the images that uh, Google provides. I'll choose the ocean image or the coast beach image. I'm going to change the text here from your page title to introduction, just like it is on the PowerSchool Learning site. I'll need to resize the text and lengthen the uh, text block out. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and change the header information. So I'm going to add a logo. That logo is saved on my desktop, uh, the district logo. And then I'm just going to enter the name of the site. So this will be the 2021-2022 Digital Citizenship Site. You'll notice it's going to kind of clip the bottom of the, or the end of the title there, but that's only because I've got these two browser windows and they're pretty narrow, so it's clipping that. Uh, if you look at the uh, actual site in preview mode, you'll notice that it's no longer clipped. Then we'll e exit out of preview by clicking the X and we'll start adding some content. So we're going to first start with the text blocks from PowerSchool and create some text blocks in Google Sites. We're just going to copy that information from one site over to the next. So we're selecting it and then right clicking and selecting copy and then pasting into Google Site. I clean it up a little bit, remove some extra spaces, add a new text block. And we'll add that additional content from the PowerSchool Learning page. I'm just going to select the text. You like to start at the bottom usually. Right click and copy that. And then paste it into the new text block I created in Google Sites. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, customization here. Um, I can change the background color for this block if I want. There's some suggested uh, color, color choices, but I'm going to actually create a custom color choice. 
And that custom color choice is going to be just duplicating a color that's already in my page. So this blue in the header, I'm going to just copy a little uh, color swatch out uh, using the uh, screen capture utility on the Mac. And then once that's copied, a little color clipping, I'm going to go ahead and open up Preview, the application called Preview. And I'm going to uh, paste what's on my clipboard, which is that color clipping, into a new image. And then I'm going to save that color clipping, that blue background clip, uh, as a JPEG. And I'll save that to my desktop so it's easy to find. And then from there, I'm going to go back to my Google site, go down to the template colors. And instead of selecting a color here in the suggested colors, I'm going to select image and upload my blue clip. And that blue color clipping will then be duplicated over the entire background. So once I've done that, you'll notice my text is a little hard to read. Let's change the color of the text to white. I select it all, choose the color clipping of white, and it changes the uh, text to white so it's easier to read. Now we'll continue adding content onto our Google site, starting with the images. So any image on your um, PowerSchool Learning page that you can move around like that by clicking and dragging, you can save the image as and save it to your desktop. So I'm just going to save that image. I'm going to rename the image. And then once I've renamed it, I'm going to go ahead and save it to the desktop again to make it easy to find. It is again a JPEG. And then we're going to import that image into my Google site. I like to use, sometimes I use images that block, but a lot of times I just like to use placeholders because they're a little bit easier to work with. So I click create a placeholder and then I can center and align that placeholder how I want. I'm going to click the plus sign and then click upload and then select my image that I just copied or saved and then resize that image and align it on my Google site. So that's how you get text and how you get your images moved from PowerSchool Learning into a Google site. It's just a matter, matter of essentially just cutting or copying and pasting into your, your Google site website. So I'm going to add some additional content from the uh, old PowerSchool Learning page. Add another text block. Select the text from the PowerSchool Learning page, copy it, and paste it into the new text block on my Google site. I add another placeholder image for the Common Sense Education graphic. Before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and change the text color and the background for that text block to match the top text block. We're going to give it that same blue background. And then we have our white text over the blue background. And now we'll add that image. So I'm going to click placeholder, center that placeholder. And because I've already copied the common sense graphic out of PowerSchool Learning, I can upload it and place it in my Google site. Stretch out the handles, make the image fit nicely. And then we'll add an additional text block and continuing, continue to copy the information from PowerSchool Learning page into my new Google site.
So I'm copying the text, pasting the text in the text block. And there's my content. My introduction page on my Google site is now copied from PowerSchool Learning into my Google site for the first page of my new digital citizenship website. So you'll notice um, that we've got pages on the left-hand margin here. We can go ahead and create some additional pages here in our Google site to support the content for the grade level pages. So I select pages on the right side of my Google site. I'm going to rename the first one. So I'm going into properties and I'm changing that name from home to introduction, just like it is in my PowerSchool learning page. That way the menu will show up correctly. Then I'm going to create some additional pages. So we'll create a kindergarten page. We'll create a first grade page. And we'll create a second grade page. And we could we would continue creating those pages till we have all our pages duplicating what we had in PowerSchool Learning. You'll notice they're out of order here. To put these in the right order, it's just simply drag and drop them to where you want them, and they'll reorganize. If you have subpages, like pages within a page, you can create that too. So if second grade needs to be a subpage of first grade, I could just drag it on top of first grade, and it becomes a subpage. A little drop down arrow. But because it's not like that on the main page, I'm just going to leave it as a single page, not a sub page. Go through and clean up the titles of these pages. And then uh, once we've cleaned up the titles, I'm going to go ahead and start copying the content from the PowerSchool Learning page into the Google Sites page. I'm going to fix this. It's bugging me a little bit. So we're going to add some more text blocks. Call it Lessons. We're going to change the text here. Make it a little bit bolder. Stand out a little bit more. And then we're just going to copy the text. Again, I like to start at the bottom of the text I'm copying and scroll up, selecting just the text that I want to copy. I'm going to go a little bit more, get that first part there. Right click, click Copy, move over to Google Site, click Paste, and then we'll clean up the text that we pasted in a little bit. And then to continue with the theme of white text on a blue background, we'll change the background and then change the text color. Increase the font size a bit. And we'll go ahead and change the font to white. Clicking that three ellipse to get the color, text color. The color will disappear in a minute until we get our blue background in. And now we've got that page uh, following the same kind of style we had on the introduction page. White text on a blue background. All of the links within this page are working. They uh, simply copied over when we copied the text. So we can click on any of those links and access the information that those particular links link to. You don't have to, we don't have to add additional links. It all gets copied when you copy it from the PowerSchool Learning page and paste it into your new Google site.
And then secondly, you can look at how your site's going to look at um, on different devices. So we just saw tablet. Now we're looking at the phone view. So Google Sites is um, dynamic in the sense that it will redesign itself based on the, on the platform or the format that uh, it's being viewed on. One thing we forgot to do is uh, we, we noticed it didn't have the menus there. If you're looking closely, you notice the menus weren't on the left side of the page like they are in the PowerSchool Learning page. We're going to change that. So click the gear icon, make sure you're in navigation, and we're going to make sure we move the navigation to the left side, left margin. So we select side, close, and now we've got our navigation, just like it is in the PowerSchool Learning page. Actually, it's a little bit nicer. It's a little pop-out navigation on the left margin. And that's it. That's how you copy info from one site to the next.